Under. Under. Good. Who's trying to shoot that stump up in the hill? Barely heard that string. So what string is this? This is the string I made. It's purple and white, Flemish twist, D97. Um, you can find them on uh, St. Lawrence Strings on Instagram and Facebook. Made by you. Made by me. Beauty. We're, gonna, we're trying for that stump way down in the bottom. Get it? Try again. Recognize that arrow, Jamie? <laughs> you leave them, you lose them. Just kidding. I'm in the front of Awesome. Next dump is up the hill. Right there, Lou. See it up the hill? Yep. Sideways one. Okay. Yep. Ooh, just sliding down the hill. Okay. Ooh. Where? How high up is that? Well, it hit. It hit the branch and then just shot straight up. Uh oh.
There's your other one. Oh, I see it. Two in. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Nice. The stump shooting area that we uh, came in in the wintertime, actually, I've been stump shooting this area for 20 years now. <clears throat> but uh, last time we were in, we had a fire right over here, and there was quite a bit of snow. And we did a bow review, a couple bow reviews. Landscape's different now. Man, I heard that. Just a hiss, an evil, deadly hiss. Getting locked in, locked and loaded. Find your wild. Long downhill shot. Get it? Did you hear that? Mm hmm. <laughs> now, can you get down there without falling? Remember, this is where we both uh, did a little wipe in the wintertime, right there. doing pro though she's wearing a brand new pair of Loas so she is not slipping and twisting ankles anymore I dare say that black and yellow is right in there <laughs> the one you weren't aiming for <laughs> Mine was a crack, yours was a thud. You hit lower in the stump. They're in. The snow and ice is still hanging around though in the low cold areas. I've seen snow and ice actually in this little hollow, even in May. Okay, Louie's way down there. I'm gonna try a shot of this stump up here. I probably shouldn't be standing here. You don't ricochet them when I'm here. Try again. I heard it hit up here though. Back a bit. <laughs> Jesus. You gonna try again or are you done? You're in. Right through?
Lou's gonna try the same one. Slow. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Listen how quiet this bow is. Nothing. St. Lawrence Strings. Instagram, Facebook. Look blue up. She'll whip you up a really nice Flemish twist D97 fast flight or fast flight string. Uh, standard serving brown L or halo. She can do either wool puffs or cat whiskers in the Tolki style. Yeah, she makes a really good string. Now I gotta go get it. All right, so this is traditionally one of our last shots of the day. Up the hill. Up there, there's a log, and she's going to try and get it in the end of it. Just under, try again. Trying one of a red bearded bowman's heavy arrows. We'll see. Oh, and it's in. <laughs> I saw that art it just flew right up there. Kudos, Jamie. Um, trying out uh, this faro field quiver for stump shooting. It only came with the uh, the uh, panel it's called in the belt. Thanks for the hookup, Alex. And these I already had for saddle hunting, so I just popped them on there because it'll take any molly attachment. But it does have a big pocket here. You can put scorecards, tabs, snacks, whatever you want to put in there. Um, or you can put them in here. Water bottle holder I put on. There are loops in here, so it's ambidextrous. So that way, if you're shooting, like right now I'm shooting uh, judos and blunts, so I don't have them in there, but field points, you can, I think you can put six in there. Probably eight if they're carbons. And then it comes with this belt they call a scuba belt. So. It's uh, quite rigid here, so it keeps its shape when you're wearing it. And then it has a quick buckle here. So, 
That's it. All right. Tiny sapling in front. What are the chances of hitting that? None. Zero percent. <laughs> We're almost done. Lynn Creek is running pretty high. Waterfall number two. And the big one's just up there. We'll get a video of that before we leave. That's the third set, the biggest set. Used to be a mill here, long, long time ago. I've seen the pictures and none of these trees were here when the mill was here. Would have been in the late 1800s, mid, mid 1800s, the late 1800s, into the early 1900s. That ginger ale can has been there for a long time. All right, likely the second last shot. Beauty. No, nope. I'll shoot you first. All right, last shot of the day. What do you want to say to the audience, Lou? Nothing? was a good day. Just finishing off the end of the spring stump shoot. Perfect way to finish the day after a beautiful hike and stump shoot. Some coal going in the birch barrel. And some steaks grilling up top. Glad you could join us on the stumping adventure. Pretty soon it'll be turkey season and then it'll be uh, turkey honey videos. Cheers everyone. If you like the video, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share with your buddies. That helps us out. Cheers.